Well the roof is closed for comfort as we get set to bring you baseball from Chase Field in Phoenix Arizona coming up we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Robbie Ray gets the start for Arizona in this one. What do we need to know here Danny. Robbie Ray is quietly developing into one of the top left handed pitchers in the game of baseball. Unfortunately he gets lost in the shadow because of guys like Clayton Kershaw and Rich Hill. Big arm from Robbie Ray not a real big guy but 95 to 97 good hard slider his changeup has Leading gotten off, better and you'll know Colorado, if he's on early because right you'll see a lots of Charlie swings and misses. Blackman. This guy can rack up the strikeouts. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that puts the Rockies' leadoff hitter aboard to start the inning. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And Showtrack tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He's got five base hits in 17 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. First delivery to him on the way in the air out to right Souza is after it he's not going to have a play on it and this might bring home the runner from first Blackman ignores his coach he's chugging for home the tag and he is out at the play and so much for a first run of the ball game out of third the left fielder David and that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. from the stretch high in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball on its way the 0 1 pitch hit in the air out toward left. Peralta is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that can work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Here's Nolan Arenado, runner in scoring position with two gone. Here comes the first pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. He's set. The 0 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Marte has it in his tracks. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. One left for Colorado and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Kyle Freeland gets the start for Colorado in this one. What's your take on him Dan. Former first round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff. I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go to pitch. But you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate Leading competitor. Up, one of the Diamond top back. young left handed pitchers the in the game right field. now. So Good striding foul. forward now, Cattell Marte. Hey. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first.
Now the 0-1. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. And now here's a look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. Mark daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys. Well Matt when we drove over to the ballpark today. We were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. So the bases are empty with one man gone, and that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Souza Jr. First offering on its way. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Strike two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, at the rate he's going, he's going to strike out 27 on 81 pitches, third. not throw the a single baseman. ball and, and toss Ed a perfect Bordeaux. game. Obviously, I'm Ed kidding, Bordeaux. but you can't start a game any better than this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, six pitches. This has the makings of a great outing already. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He swings and grounds it to short. Story picks it up. Go to Murphy. will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. So one two three go the Diamondbacks. We are still scoreless. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Leading Lifetime numbers market. against Robbie the Ray. He comes in nine. hitting right at a 300 Daniel clip. Murphy. First delivery to him on the way. This is pulled into right. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So a base hit to kick things off here and there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second. Pitcher's That's got to stay on his toes right the there. You never know who in this Ryan. lineup is going to pull out the old ambush. Knock to right right there. Here's Ryan McMahon now as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Murphy aboard here at first with nobody out. Line drive to left. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Wow, he that almost blew that fastball field. by him, but he shows some quick hands yes. to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. In now, Ian Desmond. He grounds it sharply to third. And there's one down now. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Nick Ahmed. Defense is this guy's calling card. One of the slickest defenders in our game. Super sure handed and doesn't get enough love on the defensive side of the ball. In now, number 58. First trip to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 1. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, D Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. 
And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for done. almost everyone, the, the adjustment pitcher, to hitting big league pitching is a Kyle big one. Some guys Reed. have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Standing in now with runners in scoring position, Kyle Freeland. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at-bat. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Swing and a miss, and he's no in the hole 0-2 now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back -back Ks with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Ready on 0-2. And he gets him to go after 1-0-2 as this is popped in the air toward the left side of the infield. Escobar is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for Colorado. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's the cleanup hitter, Christian Walker. He's set well, that's to lead off the home half of the, the second. First, baseman, Christian. first pitch of the Walker. at bat on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Story into shallow center, but he won't get there. It falls in. Beggars can't be choosers right there. <laughs> we love those lawn darts. Doesn't no matter how they come. Jam off the end of the bat. Doesn't oh, matter. Okay. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Freeland has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often. You need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. Struck him out. So here's how the Colorado Rockies are positioned defensively. That and let's this. take a look at outfielder David Dahl, another guy who profiles not only in center field but can cover both corners. Speed is his game, and he's only going to continue to get better. So a runner at first with one man gone, and up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a good That's pitch the around the knees, but it doesn't quite well, catch the bottom of the zone. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Nope, that's not Lays off oh. again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right there. Double play situation. Two balls down in the zone, trying to get that ground ball. Didn't get them to bite at either one. Now he's behind in the count, 2-0. All even now, two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Another full count pitch on its way. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. The next three, two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. 
Yeah, clearly oh, no man. problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and back up. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. One left for Arizona. We'll move to the third with no score. And into bat next, the big time the RBI field. man, Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman. First offering on its way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Yeah, it looked like the center fielder got a fairly good jump now on this it. ball, but he just doesn't have enough hops Trevor to bring it in. And once Dory. it's by him, you know he was going to get at least a double. Digging in now, Trevor Story. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. First pitch of the at bat. Lifted in the air out to right. Souza on the move. He makes the play. Runner tags and hits for third. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Up next for Colorado, the left fielder, David Dahl. So a runner at third here with one gone. And into bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. Blackman stands at third with one gone in the inning. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. This is where, as a batter, you've got to find a way. To put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Lifted the other way to left center. And they're going to strike first this afternoon as this is down for extra bases. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. Standing in now, Nolan Arenado, high in the air down the right field line. And this is taken in out there in foul territory with the runner tagging from second. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 feet away now with two the men gone. Base, number nine, Daniel Murphy. So a man at third here with two gone. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. 
the batter, number 24, second base. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Standing in, Ryan McMahon trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted in the air to center. Moving under it, Marte. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Rockies two and the Diamondbacks nothing. Leading off the inning, Robbie Ray, as they'll look Way to, to go. get something Four going here and back. even this game up. Hey, no we're pitcher. still in the early stages Robbie. of this one. They're only down by a couple of Ray. runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Big swing and a miss oh, at the good. fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. Now a swing and a ball headed for Murphy over there at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Batting nut, the catcher, Carson Kelly. So coming to the plate, Carson Kelly. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, yeah. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. Woo. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Fouled away. One out. Nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that the location. So a Number good job four. there of exploiting that. Right that can be real hard for some guys to Monte. overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box now, Patel Marte. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. 0 1 count, here's the pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Fouled off. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. Two out, nobody on. 
down the third baseline. Arenado's got it. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Diamondbacks down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. Striding in for the Rockies, for Ian the Rockies. Desmond. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. One of the keys yeah. to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit the other way out toward right field. Souza is there. One pitch, one out. Now so with the fly out there coming on the fastball seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters and both guys can go back and get it when they need to 96 on the one hand 94 on the other. Digging in to try it again number 58 he's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Seared down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. Goodness. 0 and 2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peralta will wait on it. And he's got it for out number two. The pitcher, number 21, Kyle Freeland. So bases are empty here with two gone. Up next, the Denver area native pitcher, Kyle Freeland. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dewey, you're talking about frustrating as a pitcher. Right. You have the pitcher up with two outs, and he extends the inning there with a base hit. Yeah, it's funny. I've hit eighth in my career, and the grind was to try and get the pitcher up so you could waste that out and flip the lineup over. This guy took it into his own hands and did just that by getting a knock. Now we could have some issues here. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And a foul pop behind the plate. Kelly is under it, and that's the third out. Rockies strand one, but they're on top two to nothing. Ready for another chance. Lead Steven Souza set to lead us off in the home the half right of the fourth field. inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the Go middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the recovery is a quick one as he gets his man at first. Good composure that time to record the first out of the inning. Good the pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands Eduardo. and bunch him up. And an Eskimo. easy ground ball is the result. Stepping in now, Eduardo Escobar. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit in the air down the right field line. After it is Blackman. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now batting, first baseman, Christian Walker. Striding in once again, Christian Walker. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another 1 2 3 inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up.
Here's the first pitch to him. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. And, and never want to take an offense's aggression away, but they've been swinging at a lot of pitches early in the count. Find themselves down. I think they need to regroup, have a meeting in the dugout, and, and figure out a way to maybe look at some pitches. Behind 0-2 now. Now here it comes. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. They trail things here, two to nothing. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Trevor Story digs into the right side of the batter's box to kick off the inning. First pitch of the at bat. Sliced hard on the ground, taken in by Flores. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for Colorado, the left fielder, David Dahl. Into the box, David Dahl. He's working on a one for two game so far. First delivery to him on the way. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Hey guys, I think the pitcher was just trying to steal a strike right there. I do not the think he expected to get ambushed on an oh, oh, get me over breaking ball. But that's exactly what happened. Riding into the box, Nolan Arenado. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. First offering on its way. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. Now batting, the first baseman, Daniel Murphy. In now, Daniel Murphy. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Peralta is there and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Down go the Rockies on a mere four pitches but they hold a two nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt during the commercial break I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks offensive production and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going though. This game isn't out of hand so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. So striding in, David Peralta. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. All right let's take a step back right here. He's down one two three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing him a fourth. The one two. Now a ball lined to the left side. 
But this is a foul ball. The next one two pitch. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. There's our line score through the first four and a half. Now and batting. these guys have basically the had the bats thing. taken right Real out of bird. their hands. Just one hit All to right. this point. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped up. Murphy waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter number 13. Shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Stepping into the box, Nick Ahmed. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he'll hold oh. off on the slider here to start the at bat. It's ball one. Zero. Swing and a miss for strike one. I mean, the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to, and he's able to go back door. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. To third. Throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Rockies two and the Diamondbacks nothing. Now at the plate, Ryan McMahon. They'll try and get things started as we begin inning base, number six. Ryan McMahon. Here comes the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing, line drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Well, they've been treating him like a punching bag out there. As we take a look at the line, you can see that he's given up double digit hits, and things don't look like they're going to get any better. He might not last much longer. Now the Diamondback skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Ladies Number 45 your enters from please. the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Diamondback. Number 45. Ian Desmond will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. He's set and the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marte giving chase. He's there and records the first down. And the runner not tagging will retreat to second base. Now batter number 58. So stepping in, number 58. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Boom goes the dynamite. A two run blast to straight away right field as the Rockies have taken a four to nothing lead. 
Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Up next for Colorado. Standing in now, the Kyle pitcher. Freeland. Kyle. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He's one for two in this one. Here's the 0 1. Line drive to center field. Marte is there, two gone. He got that right one pretty good. 19. It just didn't have the Charlie right launch angle Blackman. to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. After it is Peralta. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. Settling in now, Trevor Story. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse, and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the now plate. The batter's the eyes lit up and he was able to put good wood on it. Into the box now, David Dahl. Fly ball right down the line and left. But this will land untouched. So far, two for three in this one. Flipped out the other way towards short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. But the Rockies push across two, both coming on this two-run home run. Through five and a half. It's now four nothing Colorado. Adam Jones please. is going to come off Pitching the bench the as he'll be asked to lead off the number bottom 10. of inning number six. Adam Jones. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. Here it comes on one and one. Yeah. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The one two. Praises him, a strikeout looking. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full catcher. advantage of that. Talk he's there. pounding the zone with strikes, Kelly. and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Stepping in now, Carson Kelly. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. First time up, he went down looking. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. 
lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. Bases are empty, one man out. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he can fielder, rack up quite a four. few more before he's done. Pitchell. Still a lot of game left in this one. Okay. So the lineup flips over and digging in Patel Marte. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. And it's fouled away. A shot down the first baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Another one sent foul. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. They're down 4 nothing. 